Alright guys, in today's video I wanted to talk about, in my opinion, the 7 most interesting upcoming open world RPGs that are centered on the fantasy genre coming up this year in 2021 mostly, and also in 2022. Keep in mind I won't be talking much about open world FPS's or open world shooters, but the fantasy ones precisely, as I think those are the ones that hold the most RPG elements in it, and god do they hold a lot of promise too, well at least from its trailers like they always do. Make sure you guys drop a like right away so we can keep on beating this YouTube algorithm and let's get into it. First off, we have Chrono Odyssey, a beautiful upcoming RPG that takes inspiration from both Demon Souls and a little bit of Devil May Cry, and coming from a South Korean studio, very much known in South Korea but that wants to expand into the Western media, which is here in America. Chrono Odyssey, which is formerly known as Project S, is an epic fantasy open world RPG that can be experienced both solo or online and is about time and space. This project visualizes the story of members of the special organization called a dragon, waging a huge war against 12 very dangerous gods that all have very different skills when fighting them. In Chrono Odyssey, players can experience a vast world with immersive stories that you can discover, a grandiose universe to explore, and realistic graphics that will challenge other realistic fighting games like these. Moreover, players can also enjoy unique job systems, maps that transcends time and space, random dungeon utilizing multiple and large spaces, large scale RVR contents, high strategies needed from each player, and excellent combat actions. Also Chris Velasco, a global game music composer known for God of War, Starcraft, and Overwatch, participated in composing the soundtrack for the game. Chrono Odyssey right now is planned to be in the testing phases this year, and the developers are planning to launch it on various platforms such as PC, next gen consoles, and later on into mobile but with less beautiful graphics of course. Let me know if you guys are excited for this one. Next up we have Little Devil Inside. If you have not heard of this one yet then you are in for a treat, but yeah you might have definitely heard of it. Little Devil Inside is one of the most unique and exciting open world RPG of the year, at least for me and I think for a lot of other people too. Its unique art style, its world, its combat system, all of it makes for what it is looking like a truly amazing experience. The game received massive praise and automatically gained a huge fanbase, including me, when it launched its successful Kickstarter in 2015. The game recently announced its PS5 and PC partnership, as well as the game's release leaking, which is said to be sometime in 2021. Now, the core concept and theme running through the game, according to the developers, Neostream, is that this is a game that tells stories about people with unusual jobs, such as hunting monsters and what happens in their everyday life while doing so. You play as Billy, a swordsman who finds himself a part of Professor Vincent and Dr. Oliver's research team. This team leads expeditions to explore the wilderness and hunt creatures, all to aid your contractors in building a full encyclopedia of the world and the monsters within it. While doing so, you will come across influential figures and various organizational bodies with discreet and secretive interests. You then complete requests for them and discover secrets along the way. You plan expeditions to these lands by learning information about the monsters and environment and also choosing the most appropriate weather-resistant gear and weapons for the trip you are about to take. Although the game combines action, exploration, survival and RPG elements, then they are all treated with a lighter touch. The developer wished to express more with less and leave some room for the players to fill in for themselves. This game is all about discovering an adventure. There is no fast travel, only a train to travel between different regions on the world map. And you may find you experience curious or dangerous events while riding to your next research destination. There's there's also a town where you can rest and buy many things. Next up we have Odin Valhalla Rising, another very interesting open world RPG that seemed to take inspiration from Lord of the Rings and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Odin's first feature, named by the developers at Lion Art Studios, is a completely open map with no loading screens and also everything visible in sight can always be explored. The action will take place in a fantasy northern Europe and promises different biomes and continents inspired by four worlds from Scandinavian mythology, like Midgard, 
Jotunheim, Nidavellir, and Halfheim. Each territory has its interesting NPCs, monsters, bosses, and cities. It is not yet known if there are plans to add locations based on other worlds, but they could most definitely appear. Lionheart Studio emphasized that it has applied revolutionary lightning technology based on research and testing, which will help to fully convey the feeling of Scandinavian mythology. Motion capture and 3D reading technologies were used to create models of characters, monsters, numerous animations, and costumes. For example, many of the armors are authentic medieval knight weapons, realistically modeled and textured by 3D scanning. The world is populated by plenty of monsters and creatures besides humans, elves, and giants. Mount riding also seemed to play a pretty important role in the game. Let me know what you all think of it. Next up, we have Bleak Fake Forsaken, a very dark Dark Souls inspired open world game made by two people only. The game is a third person open world survival or action RPG set in a universe you've never experienced before. Play as one of the Forsaken, the last frontier of humanity against the growing horrors of the Omni structure. As you find yourself stranded in a faraway outpost, you must adapt in order to survive. The world won't wait for you though, you must venture into the unknown. Your fate will decide your fate. Feel the burden of surviving in one of the last remaining outposts of the Forsaken, a legion of hunters condemned to protect the last vestige of humanity. The nature of your purpose, however, is shrouded in mystery, and as you delve deeper into the manifold halls of the Omni structure, you will come to find the true meaning of alienation, isolation, and dread. The game is a cross between cyberpunk and dark fantasy. Bleak Fate will offer a story and experience that will be a breath of fresh air for all gamers looking for something new. The world is full of lore and every aspect of it is crafted with utmost passion and a dedication to art. As a baseline, there is an estimated 30 plus hours of content, also a deep class system and a procedural AI system that ensures that no playthrough is ever the same. The world of Bleak Fate is labyrinthine, tapping into an innate curious instinct we all have when faced with many defined branching choices. The developers focus on creating a strong sense of curiosity about the path not taken, by offering unique and compelling content in every area of the world. Next up, we have Project Awakening. Anyone remember this game? This stunning game came out of nowhere and had been in hiding since 2018, since its first announcement trailer. Though we only needed one Twitter to get excited for this, as it showed and promised a truly ambitious project. Here is exactly what we know about this project for now. First off, Project Awakening is Cygames pilot project, as it attempts to move in onto the Western market. Cygames is the company behind the immensely popular Grand Blue games in Japan. Project Awakening is a realistic open world game, realistic in terms of graphics and animations. It has co-op multiplayer components with the main story integrated into it and aims to be a much realistic monster hunter kind of game, and I'm definitely all up for it. It's also said to have a lot of fighting, blood, and sweat. For side games, it's something really new and interesting. Side games is trying to find a balance between storytelling and a gameplay focus with Project Awakening, where both are the best they can be. High Fantasy is the game's inspiration, they mention Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones as inspiration. The trailer is indicative of the game, it's going to be about brutal, raw battles with creatures. The open world is seamless, Side Games is also aiming to allow for up to 12 players to play together at once. Side Games again might include stuff we are not expecting from it, including whether you can use magic or whether the game will have a character class system. Also our character may get stronger or faster etc over time. This depending on the armor you have and the weapons. Finally, Project Awakening will be a next-gen release, which of course it will. Let me know if you guys are excited. Next up, we have Lucen. Lucen is an adventure into the unknown. You play as a boy named Lucen, and after your village is mysteriously shrouded in darkness and fellow villagers won't wake up, you must take it upon yourself to venture into the vast lands outside the village. Armed with your sword, bow, and legends passed down by generations, you must set out on a quest to ask the mythical old gods for their help. Along the way, you will traverse environments that have been untouched by civilizations for centuries. Lush woods with ruins of altars to the old gods, caves hoarding mystical light orbs to augment your abilities, foggy swamplands occupied by terrifying creatures, and many more. The game features fast-paced hack-and-slash gameplay, 
you can harness light with your sword and bow to augment your attacks. Also, master your sword to learn and perform new combos or deal damage from afar with your bow. Allocate specialization points to focus on one type or spread them out to balance between the two. There's also a narrative-driven questline, which you'll learn more about Luzun and the world is in as you progress through quests. Finally, the best for last, we have Crimson Desert, a beautiful upcoming open world single player RPG which as you explore many different parts of this strange world and fight off unique creatures and factions. The game will include both an action adventure mode and co-op mode. The developers designed the game so that players who've been engaged in multiplayer play can switch to single player play and take a break from the more competitive aspects of the game. The game has also been designed to allow players looking for an interactive gameplay experience to switch from single player play to multiplayer play. Crimson Desert tells the stories of Pywall, a vast continent of divided regions inhabited by people struggling to survive in its ever-changing lands. From the vast plains of Akepen to the inhospitably cold lands of Quidden or the barren desert, each region possesses its own unique beauty. With a vast range of weapons and countless customization options, what you wield and how you wield it all depends on the type of warrior you want to be. There's also going to be plenty of story related content to play even after a player finishes the main story. In other words, a player can expect to find plenty to do in the game before they succeed in clearing all in-game objectives. There's also the element of multiplayer play that should be taken into account. Multiplayer mode will give players the chance to shape their own in-game narratives as they explore the world with their friends. This is going to be a whole separated mode from everything where you create your own character. Every mercenary you meet will have their own story to tell in the game, their own unique reasons for choosing this path. If you wish to shape these warriors into an elite fighting unit and hear those tales, you will need to earn their respect. Only then will they fight under a single banner, yours. Alright guys, that is all for today's video. If you'd like to see more videos like these where I talk about upcoming games, make sure you drop a like on this one and of course subscribe to stay tuned. Thanks to Space Beer Gaming, Rush Shingbati, I Am Legend, Diamond Hunter 45, Themistocles, Rick No 23, and Kianz of Pagari for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for as low as 99 cents a month. It'll help me and the channel as a whole to make more and better videos.